Okay, people. Uh, this is just a little explanation on uh, false set spool pins and why false set occurs. Okay, you're going to have to excuse my drawing because I'm not the greatest artist in the world, but as you can tell, this is a key. These would be the regular pins, your key pins, the ones that sit in the valleys in your key. And then above that, in up here would be springs, forcing the pins down. Okay, now the spool pins are shaped, oddly enough, like spools. And we'll just call this a regular pin. Now, as you go in the keyway and push each of these pins up with your pick, you're trying to get them all to the shear line so the plug will rotate all the way. But what happens is in a false set, the uh, the usually the keyway usually only rotates to about one o'clock. The reason for this is because the spool pin is stuck. See, you push when you have your pick inside the keyway and you push up, applying uh, rotational torque. Uh, a regular pin will bind and stop the cylinder at exactly 12 o'clock. Whereas a spool pin will give you a false set and allow the keyway to rotate to one o'clock because the lip of the spool pin catches at the shear line. Um, this is the same, same idea with mushroom pins. Okay, now, um, there's a few different types of spool pins. There are spool pins that have uh, very shallow cuts. Like that. And then there's hard spool pins that have very deep cuts. Like so. The cut here is very, very deep, so that you get a more of a of a false set because the cuts here are so deep. Some of them are cut so shallow that you don't even realize that they're security pins. Uh, some security pins have serrations here, and then the key pen beneath it. Also, See, they have serrations here, and then the key pin beneath it also has serrations. So when you're looking for this line in between them, which is the shear line, it's very difficult to tell whether you're on a serration or on the shear line. Okay? So, once you achieve false set, which would look something like this here, you got your torque wrench in there. Okay? What you want to do is apply upward, slightly upward pressure with your pick while releasing, uh, releasing torque from the end of your torque wrench in one fluid, gentle, slow movement. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope that clarifies a, a bit. For all you beginners out there, uh, you'd have to forgive my drawing, but I think it gets the general point across. And uh, as usual, peace and don't break the law.